clever enough. If Secret Service could work it out, I'd go there. How, how about that? Can we do it? Can we go to the Trump store? They have a Trump store. I don't know. People open up Trump stores all over the country, and they're beautiful. It's two blocks down, they say. Check it out. Take a look, sir. I do it in two seconds. They have Trump stores all over the place. I get nothing out of it. You know what I get? The presidency out of it. That's all I get. Anyway, I love these people. They open up the Trump store. They do great. And that makes me feel good. Thank you. We're going to take a look at the Trump store. If Secret Service can do it, I'm doing it. I like the idea. We have plenty of time. What's your takeout order? I don't know. What do you want? Do you want something while you're there? French fries. I'll tell you what. How about if we gave you some French fries, all right? There you go. Are you, that's sort of a bribe, but I think a bribe for a buck is okay, right? I'm going to get you some French fries. Somebody come up here and take them. Let's get them some French fries, okay? This is for the fake news. These guys don't get any. They're too... They're nice and warm and comfortable, right? All right, good. Give me a couple more. Oh, you're very stingy with the product. Look at that. She's a good worker. You want to have... That's the kind of people you want to have work. She gave them one fresh fry for 30 reporters outside. Would you like yeah. two in a bag? Two in a bag, yeah. Okay. Two in a bag. Thank you. We'll throw them out the window. <laughs> Good you having a good time today? Pretty good, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Well, a lot of people look forward. They kept saying, when are you going to McDonald's? And I said, let's do it. So that's, and we have the owner, we have a...